The plan to replace the Cortez Bridge is being met with resistance from residents and business owners in Cortez Village. Florida Department of Transportation officially recommended a 65-foot fixed span bridge to replace the current one. SNN Samantha Sonner has reaction from the community. Cindy Jones and Don Kinsel live right off the Cortez Bridge and are no stranger to Cortez Road traffic. Right now we have to uh, kind of uh, decide what time we're going to go out in the morning and come back at night because we can't even get out of the park. But they don't think a new bridge will alleviate any of the traffic problems. Once we get over there, there's no place to park. The current Cortez Bridge is at the end of its lifespan. The 65-foot fixed span bridge that's being recommended is estimated to cost around $72 million and last over 75 years. The Department of Transportation says it will save money on overall maintenance that would be needed if another 35-foot drawbridge is built in its place. According to their study, the new bridge will improve the traffic flow for both boats and vehicles and create open space along the waterfront for park-like amenities. But residents say the plan doesn't fit Cortez Village. Uh, I know they need to do something with the bridge. We were hoping that it wouldn't be the big bridge because it's going to affect everyone. Jan Holman owns the Sea Hag on Cortez Road and says seven years of construction could be horrific. You have to wonder what it'll do to business when they're in the process of doing this for seven years, keeping traffic away because of that going on. But the biggest concern for both businesses and residents is how the bridge will change the character of Cortez Village. We're in a historical village now and we want to keep the bridge as much historical as possible rather than putting a 20th century uh, high-rise bridge in, it's, it's not going to uh, alleviate the problem, I don't believe. Reporting in Cortez Village, I'm Samantha Sonner, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.